And what is up everyone, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial series on how to make a VR game for the Oculus Rift. In today's episode we will learn how to customize the end of the player and how to grab objects from a distance. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are back inside our Unity project from last episode and the first thing we are going to do is get rid of the local avatar. That's right, the local avatar is really simple but it lacks a lot of controls and if we want to add some more advanced features we need to use the custom end that Oculus provide. So search for custom end left and custom end right and drag it into the scene. So now I will search for the tracking space of the OVR camera rig and set the parent transform to tracking space. Okay, so now I will search for the material of the end because I want to change it to something a little bit more beautiful. So go under the custom and left and search for end end. Okay, so now I can see it and I will change its shader to something else. So here you can play with whatever you like. Okay, so I'm quite happy of how my ends are looking. You can see that when I press play I'm still able to see them in VR and to move them like in the last episode, but also I'm able to grab the cube like before, so it's functioning and everything's working well. While we are working with the end I want to show you something more here. You can see that when I'm moving the end are kind of choppy. The reason behind it is because Unity is checking physics 60 frames per second and not 90 frames per second which is needed in VR. So here go under project setting time and check under the time manager fixed time step 1 divided by 90. And this will make our ends uh, really smooth when we are moving with the thumbstick. Okay, so now we are going to implement distance grab, which extends all possibility from what we have done early. So first remove the custom end, then select all the cube and make sure that they are on continuous dynamic. This will improve the physics of the object. Then add the distance grabable script. Okay, so now we will search for the distance grab and left and distance grab and right. So select both and put them in your scene. Set the OVR player controller for the player component. And finally set the tracking space as the parent transform. So you can uh, set a grabbable layer for all the objects that you want to grab from a distance. So to add this layer, select all the cube, click layer, add layer, and uh, here I'm going to create a layer which I will call grabbable, and I will make all my cube uh, to be grabbed from a distance. Then set the grab object in layer, 9, which correspond to the new layer that we've just created. Also, you can set an obstruction layer from which you cannot grab. I want none, so we'll set it to minus 1. Oops, here I forgot to mention something very important. There is an item variable that you must enable when doing the distant grabbable, and its name is in range. For that, create a game object at the grab manager script, then add also a sphere collider, set the is trigger parameter to true, and set the radius from the distance radius you want to grab the object. So object uh, within this uh, collider will be able to be grabbed from a distance. Okay, so everything seems to be set correctly, so I'm going to 
play my scene you can see that I am able to uh, grab the end from a distance which is really fun in my opinion and really handy for example when obje an object is falling and is on the ground it's not possible to grab it uh, normally but with this script with the distance grab you are able to grab it even if it's on the ground okay so another feature from the distance grab is uh, crosshair so for that just select the object you want to uh, have a crosshair check for the blue axis and right click create an empty game object i will name it crosshair I will add the grabbable crosshair script to this game object and I will create two child, two uh, child quad, remove the mesh collider of the quad and uh, select as a material something like uh, this triangle cursor targeted material. So I want uh, this uh, quad to be a little bit uh, forward from uh, my uh, cube. Uh, I will uh, uh, duplicate this quad so now uh, we will have uh, here a black quad but also another quad which i will set a little bit smaller so for that i uh, need to assign another material uh, here this one will uh, be perfect so i'm setting this to uh, uh, something gray and now i will assign these two quads so uh, when i'm targeting the a cube the on quad will appear but when i'm not targeting the off quad will uh, appear i can make a prefab from this crosshair and i will drag it to the object i want uh, to have a crosshair and now you can see that i'm able to grab the object but the crosshair is appearing uh, behind uh, here the cube which is really handy if you are not able to look and that's all for today thank you for watching this video till the end in the part three of the series we will look at how we can use the distance grabber to grab a gun from the asset store and how to force the snapping of this object so make sure to subscribe and see you in the next episode